Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna show you Doosan latest product DSGW290 Multi Protocol Host Gateway Unboxing. How to set up and use it as mini PC. First look at the DSGW290 Gateway's design. Its shell uses ABS material. These are for indicator lights, tower, network, LTE and Wi-Fi indicator. The interfaces include two Ethernet one, LAN variable ports, two USB ports, Power interface, reset button, one audio port, one Type-C port, mainly for firmware flashing, one HDMI video interface, SIM card, NTF card slot. At the back, there is a radiator inside. Other accessories include one Type-C cable for firmware flashing, one network cable for network connection, one HDMI cable for external display. This is the power adapter with changeover plug. Now let me take apart the shell and see what's inside the product. Okay, let's go. Now let's see the gateway board. This is Z-Wave module, BLE module, Sub-G module, Zigbee module, Wi-Fi module, LTE module. For more details, check the gateway spec on our official website, dusuniot.com. TSGW290 Gateway adopts two layer modular design. First layer covers some wireless modules, second layer is mainly the system on module. It adopts our K356864 bit quad core ARM Cortex A55 built in independent NPU with one tops computing power. DSGW290 supports rich video and audio interfaces, HMDI output and MIC output, input, supports user scenarios with screen display. Now we have connected the DSGW290 gateway with an external display using HDMI. It can be used as a Linux-based PC. Easily start your programming and development. Open the browser. Enter the IP address of the gateway from the router. You can see the LUSI page of the gateway. Switch to IoT service menu. You can set the cloud configuration here, including MQTT, OS, Azure, and LoRaWAN network servers. You can also set up Bluetooth connection, ZigBee, Z-Wave VAN Matter connection. TSGW 290's multimedia competence empowers. Audio and video capabilities can be used as many PC to watch TV and movies. Thanks for watching.